The Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, is yet to make a decision on how to handle the refusal of Patriotic Front member of the Central Committee in charge of information and publicity, Rafa Nakachinda, to have a meeting with the Commission over election rigging accusation and they just ended by elections. Last week, the Commission summoned Mr. Nakachinda over his remarks alleging a scheme has been unearthed involving pre-marked ballot papers in favour of the UPND in the said elections. Arising from his allegations, the Commission invited Mr. Nakachinda for a meeting to be held on Monday, November 7, 2022, which meeting he refused to attend, saying the Commission has no mandate to summon him. Uh, I want to state uh, clearly that, uh, first of all, we're going to write to ECZ um, to clearly state that I'm not attending that meeting because uh, we find, first of all, even the correspondence itself adding to the misconduct of ECZ. The Electric Commission of Zambia is yet to state the next cause of action following this development. ECZ Corporate Affairs Manager Patricia Luhanga says the said decision will be made known on November 8, 2022. Under Section 107 of the Electoral Code of Conduct, the Electoral Commission of Zambia is in part to censure acts done by leaders of political parties, candidates, supporters and government and its organs which are aimed at jeopardizing elections or done in contravention of the code. Therefore, the Electoral Commission has power to summon Mr. Nakachinda, failure to which he can be banned from participating in future elections because of his allegations that the Commission allows pre-marked ballot papers. Das Tonya. Damon News.